Okay. So I don't know much about this game, but I'm going to give it a shot. Brightness. One, really? Sheesh. Only two? Two's the highest? Holy shit. All right, settings. We are pleased to welcome you on an easy sightseeing tour of our facility, comrades. Spectacular dynamic battles with robots won't take too much effort or distract you from the narrative. Of course, you'll still have to fight, but only the plot will keep you on your toes. If you like to overcome difficulties, that's admirable. We'll leave it to you. Leave you to it. There, this is no walk in the park. Some combat situations may seem difficult and objectives will require know-how. You can always be inspired by a sense of your own superiority after completing each stage. Just try and stay more alive than dead. Do you have a vivid imagination and dark thoughts? <laughs> you do. That's just how it is. Buckle up. A real nightmare is in store. Will you need experience, reaction speed, and the skills to properly manage your resources to survive? Save your bullets and always keep one in reserve for yourself. Ooh. Is that a spanking? <laughs> um, okay. Since I don't really know much, um, let's keep it in the middle. Keep it in the middle. <laughs> oh, I should be reading the tips. I don't know anything about this game. I really love this place. Good vibes. The Chelome complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Mechanic glove. I've been here before. Will we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> on the Icarus platform, a feat of modern science and technology. This city in the clouds was built in 1950. Very strange how the subtitles are working. Republics live here, including the German SSR. You need to have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. Would you care for some more soda, Comrade? Comrade? Is that a comrade? Sure, thanks. Um, whoa, whoa, I did Okay. <laughs> I didn't want the soda. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. Come here, bot. Here's Is that still working on the robot's navigation yeah, systems? Yeah, I noticed. Wow, what a beautiful day. It is nice. What's up with your Vobas bots, Andre? They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? Is that a pig? All day. Number three is bought. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. Hold piggy, sweetie. Oh, thanks, Mum. Uh, the code's 0451. Okay, then. Oh, Get they got the fight? Bums. 
Move it! Move it! Oh, you did it! Oh, thanks a million. Enjoy the celebration. Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Waiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. Very colorful. You've been ordered to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions for once. You dickhead. Yeah. I second that. You don't know my life. platform residents and facility guests the address by the director general of facility 3826 dr sechenov is about to begin oh well, it's pretty fast reality or something Buy a copy of the Facility Herald, comrade. Breakthroughs abound. Biology, robotics, gunsmithing, and just in time for universal polymerization. You can't stop progress, huh? That's right. Doesn't it fill you with pride? Well, I won't take up any more of your time. Take it easy. A newspaper. What the hell do I need that for? In case you're unaware, our newspapers are a source of information. I've got a talking glove on my hand. Can I just get the information from you? Comrade Major, may I remind you that I can display information about our surroundings on your retina? It won't make you any smarter, but it will make it easier to read. Use your glove's built-in menu. <sighs> Lousy prick. on the nine blinking everyone here seems so happy and content just like in china you've been to china comrade major i've been everywhere i mean everywhere except for china i guess facility 3826 isn't all that far from our chinese allies i like their spirit and i hear it's nice there indeed it is Slow down, son. Slow down. Has <laughs> it got a mustache? <laughs> the robot got a mustache. I'm so happy. You fought in the war, comrade major. Did you just remember something? No, I can't remember shit. I've been drawing a blank ever since I got injured. It's like there's something stuck in my head, but I... I can't figure out what it is. 
crispy critters, man. Fuck. Watch your language, Major. We're in a public place. Yeah, whatever. I can't curse. That's gonna be a problem. I still can't oh, that's cool. Can be so close. Like a projector. It's as if I could reach out. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want, a university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example, and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can! Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. Capsule. It's pretty big. Oh, that's an easier way to intake something. You have just upgraded your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? Tap RB plus hold it to activate the scanner. Okay. What am I scanning though? Demon, be gone! <laughs> For your information, that's a highly user friendly gesture! It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would ya? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. Okay, bye. What? A fat robot? Address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. Greetings, comrades. I am Dmitry Sechenov, and this is Facility 3826. Hello. Stand on the brick. 
the greatest to the lobby of that higher on this conquering major. We find ourselves just one small step away from an amazing evolutionary victory that will profoundly change the world as we know it. No, I'm not exaggerating. Just look at how our beloved Soviet Union has been transformed in the last few decades. Thanks to my invention, so glad to see you're taking it easy, Comrade Major. The car is waiting. You must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. He's been left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, not to leave. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. Elevator. Mastering academic subjects with breathtaking speed, accessing all human knowledge, and of course combining it with your own individual discoveries. You will no longer need control panels, cumbersome communications equipment, and loudspeakers, documents, electronic notebooks, etc. Thought will replace every single one of them. And so much more. Your potential will be unlimited. Want to learn a foreign language in a minute? Master quantum physics in a day. Memorize oh, that's literary masterpieces like that. from around the world. This all will be possible once your thought neural connector is installed right here on your temple. All communication between your brain and your personal thought device is made possible via a tiny injection of neuropolymer at a local center for polymerization, where you will also receive your thought device in five minutes. In just five minutes, you'll become the future. Comrade, as a citizen of the mighty... Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? We got two airplanes in here. Their fucking ankles. Ugh. Ugh. Sechenov here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. 
Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the yeah, Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. Secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0 with yeah, I just came from in every city. It. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of robotic Politics workers from that. the We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyorsk. How about some music? That's more like it. I see you finally begun your assignment. And it's been less than an hour. Sehr gut. Jawohl, mein Fjord. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us? Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies.
This is Facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelemay Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedjansky. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center, the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire VDNH, as well as the Friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Vavilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Muhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. The Trophy's initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Watch out! Now, what am I supposed to do about it? For your safety, what the? please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. You have reached your destination. You are now at the laboratory gate of the Robin Hux's Ultron facilities. Have a nice day. Take my hand, Comrade Major. I will escort you to the Vavilov Complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Oh, what the hell are I you slipped. doing, you lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now on. Fuck off, bitch! Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Dropa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again! Oh, help me, Comrade Major! I'm falling! What the shit?
attention. This is an emergency It's killing me. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you all right, my boy? I'm okay. Okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Victor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find him and bring him to me alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Victor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. <clears throat> Session off out. I've swum through polymer plenty of times and I haven't drowned yet. It's a frickin' miracle of modern science. <laughs>
You are hereby prohibited to leave your place of residence until further notice. You will be alerted by grant as special forces officers to come to the street has been contained. Details on the target. Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Hey, you. I'm coming. You alive in there? Get away from me! Looking at, almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Mm. Oh. You should be more careful. This place is a damn mad house. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, no ma'am. No sweat, Sonny. <sighs> what are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me, Zena, Granny Zena. That's all you need to know. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way, too. It's basically safe. Shit! It's a chilla! Son of a bitch! We've got 30 seconds! Move your ass! 30 seconds until what? Uh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy! Royally fucked! No good! Get over here, beefcake! Now, no, 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 now! Take this key and turn it clockwise! I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? Here we go. You've been riding my ass for two days now. Take that. Eat shit and die. Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way. Me. You hang on to that key. I got this. Uh. Holy shit!
Wow, I have time to light a cigarette. What a goddamn clusterfuck. Uh huh. material. Sorry, buddy. Oh. We need to find a way to open this also? armored door. Okay. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhausen. He was then arrested by the Argentum unit. So how'd he end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started, and that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Viktor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences, dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right. This is an emergency log. Oopsie. Is that it? That's all I needed? There's nothing else down here? Okay. Poop tube. Shotgun shell. <laughs> Don't be an inventory will press and hold X. Small capsule. Got a shotgun? Well, hold on there. Only got one round though. That's no good. can perform power attacks that knock P3 down if they hit when an enemy is charging a power attack Charles will indicate the best moment to dodge it upon seeing the highlight press B yeah, to dodge oh, okay. may I give you some advice I'm kind of busy yeah, right now try sure to avoid can. robots more powerful attacks hey. all powerful attacks performed by Back a robot up. during a power surge fucker well, at this rate, I won't last long. That first bot really kicked my ass. Destroyed robots contain a neuropolymer resuscitation drug called Neuromed. Extract the Neuromed capsule and use it. Oh, sorry. Break rooms are the game safe areas. Each is equipped with a manual yourself. safe game machine. Hey, more shotgun shells. Load them up. Fading 
Collecting data. <laughs> It wouldn't hurt to collect up. Bro, you can't talk while the thing pops up. It doesn't work like that. <sighs> if there are a lot of crates in front of you, hold RB in their direction and move from one to the other without releasing RB. This would allow you to collect all of the resources from the resources crates. Resources you find going. along the way, Major. May I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Abalakov backpack? For storing items and equipment, it utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it, then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something. Why'd you turn that thing on, huh? We were ordered to turn it on when you got here, Comrade Muravyova. My orders are to document everything and... You can document your own ass if you want to, but you're not recording me, and let me through. And don't call me Comrade Muravyova. I'm Granny Zena to you, Sonny. Uh, but we aren't oh, allowed to let lady. you through, Comrade... Uh, Granny Zena? Not without authorization. Really? I was always allowed in here before, and now I'm not? Listen here. Either you let me through right this instant, or I'll come back later. And somebody else will be cooling his heels in here. What you say? <clears throat> Go ahead. That's what I thought. Dismissed. Okay, so the old lady's a badass. Heal. What's that? Order from comrade whoever. All employees at a facility, including service employees, are to undergo polymerization. Make sure everyone signs the protocol after procedure. Oh, there's more stuff. I'm sponsoring an inquiry here. My evaluations on the prisoner. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. Are they talking about me? faces hmm. it's a lot of people are they the employees hmm. interesting little device Shotgun shells. <laughs> this is 
stuff in here and a bad guy. Uh, I'll try the shotgun. Sneak up on the robot and perform a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it. I don't, I don't know what I was supposed to do about that. Oh my god, he kicked the shit out of me. Holy shit. Have a seat, Mihail. I just need to finish my work and then I'll help you with that report. Lab Tech 84, bring Comrade Colts off some tea. I'll be with you in a second, okay? Destroy that box. Mm. Hey, is that a pair? Is it working? All pairs at facility 3826 are connected to emergency power and are never turned off. This allows employees to remain in constant contact. But I need, like, a password or an access level or something to get into a pair, right? I can provide you with access to any facility device. This also applies to the chirpers you will surely encounter while en route to your mission objective. Got it. Okay, so that tab is the employees. Okay. There's a way to upgrade the shotgun eventually. So these things, okay, that's cool. Hey, Glove. My name is Charles, Comrade Major. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, how this Petrov guy managed to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. So you're telling me a handful of traitors somehow managed to hack into Collective, a network created by the best minds in the Soviet Union? Technically speaking, Collective has not been hacked. 
No one could possibly circumvent the algorithms created by Professor Lebedev's team at the Academy of Consequences. Then why is all this crazy shit going down? The traders introduced a false combat mode into one of Collective's algorithms that causes the central hub to see all humans as invading soldiers. And our scientists really can't fix it without Petrov. They can, but it will take some time, during which many more people will die and information about the incident will make its way outside the facility. Please note that as of June 1st, 1955, the employee break rooms will be used by the chess club. That's important. Oh, and grab a chair. As a Soviet scientist, I've always considered myself an atheist. But right now, there's only one thing I can say. May God have mercy on our souls. He's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. <laughs> Started all the way back here. Why did you just move? Gas. I have to do it this all over again. It wouldn't hurt to collect again. other resources you find along the oh way, Major. Oh my God. May I remind you that your gear includes a yeah, special Yarov Abalakov backpack for storing items and equipment. It utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? Looks like we're living in sci-fi times or something. Get all this stuff all over again. <laughs> 
sneak up on the robot and perform a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it. Was I supposed to hold it? Because I don't really know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. Hey, Glove. My name is Charles, Comrade Major. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, how'd this Petrov guy manage to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. I just need to finish my work, and then I'll help you with that report. Lab Tech 84, bring Comrade Koltsov some tea. I'll be with you in a second, okay? So you're telling me a handful of traitors somehow managed to hack into Collective, a network created by the best minds in the Soviet Union? Technically speaking, Collective has not been hacked. No one could possibly circumvent the algorithms created by Professor Lebedev's team at the Academy of Consequences. Then why is all this crazy shit going down? The traitors introduced a false co- That mode into one of Collective's algorithms that causes the central hub to see all humans as invading soldiers. And our scientists really can't fix it without Petrov. They can, but it will take some time, during which many more people will die and information about the incident will make its way outside the facility. Should go back and save. and save one more time saving data I don't 
think I see a symptom on this table. As a Soviet scientist, I've always considered myself an atheist. But right now, there's only one thing I can say. May God have mercy on our souls. We've locked the magnetic door to the cable car tunnel. God damn it. I don't know how long we can keep the robots inside the complex. Hey, Ivan, is it me? Or did that bush just move? Ivan! Ivan! <coughs> Robot is giving me the business. Oh my god. Fucking me up. My dearest V, it's too dangerous to keep leaving messages like this. This is the last one. Get ready. I'm getting my paperwork together, and then I'll be right behind you. We're going to get out of this nightmare. Yours always, L. Damn it, why is everything locked here? Emergency mode was activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Facility 3826 is on lockdown. That includes the inner sector. So how am I supposed to open this door? It's locked with an electromagnetic lock. So I need to fry it with an electromagnetic pulse. How the hell am I gonna do that? Your glove can be equipped with an EMP-generating shock module. A capsule containing the neuropolymer required to install the shock module should be somewhere on facility grounds. Okay, I'll deal with it. Come on, get up, soldier. <sighs> Great, just a little more. You okay? I'm fine. How many fingers? Uh, four. Great, now get up. I need your help. <sighs> Who are oh, they? Somebody's got a way. They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. They tried to save you. And who are you? Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God damn. Forceps. Yeah, what the forceps, fuck? forceps, forceps. I'm on it. Get me them. What's this doing here? What took you so long? You got a neuropolymer capsule. We don't need one. Yeah. So what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. You know what? You're on your own. You what? got this. Where are you going? It's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now we're getting How somewhere. How did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. Get out! What Larissa! What? Larissa crawled into go. It's hard to say. The ventilation system contains a large number of branching ducts. Fine. I can deal with it later. Mm. 
What's that freaky thing on the door? A lock. Are you serious? Then open it already. Come on, we're in a hurry. I'm unable to assist you. I lack any kind of lock picking functionality. You'll have to find your own method for picking locks. I'm sure you're smart enough. Yeah, right. In other words, you're basically useless, as always. Try snapping your fingers at the exact moment the locking pin light goes on. Damn it. Damn it. I'm so impatient. <laughs> All right, okay. Oh, you bitch. Oh, why do you do it so fast? Okay, you little. do it so fast oh my god why is it doing so fast that's corny see these locks are gonna it be works. a problem <laughs> for me back then. I don't like this long hallway. I don't like the singing. A lullaby? I don't like this. Charles, what's on the other side of the door? That's Nora's voice. She's very dangerous. Oh great, thanks for the save point. Small what the fuck is this thing? What the fuck? Fuck me! Oh, what a stud! I can't get enough. I should have saved first. No need to fight back, sugar. Don't let her bind your arms. Can't you see I'm trying? Open the suggestions. Bring me to her sensor manipulator. Quick. How titillating. Rebellious dominant men really turn me on. Oh, I'll turn you on, all right. Just let me at you. What a brute! Oh, I love tough guys! I'm on fire! Closer! I can't reach her! I'm trying, I'm trying! She's one strong-ass bitch! I'm at your service, sugar! Anything for my master? What can I do for you? What the hell? More skills will become available to you soon. But choose shock for now. Oh my god. You were fortunate enough to acquire about 50 grams of neuropolymer. I suggest exchanging this dose with lovely Nora for a new skill. You don't mind, do you? You're not really giving me a choice. Oh, how can I resist? Now let me show you what I can do. Professionally, I mean. I've seen it. Literally. Crispy critters. I am here to help you upgrade your red-hot pocket rockets. And believe me, handsome, you can upgrade whatever tickles your fancy. Weapons are useful. Open the corresponding window, Major. Get rid of that glove, handsome. You don't need him anymore now that you've got me. 
I'll service you however. But I can do so much more. A quick romp with your axe is just a taste of things to come, you handsome beast. Did you enjoy it, big guy? Yeah. Listen. Cool. Use this powerful Listen. weapon to split the skulls of your enemies and bring me gifts so we can get down and dirty. I'll show you what real smut feels like. <laughs> Why should Whoa. I bring you gifts? Girls like being pampered. Because the repair vendor needs resources to break them down and produce items. Luckily for us, it's not very picky. Although, some upgrades may call for unique components. <sighs> I take it the facility is full of all kinds of junk. It is indeed, Comrade Major. I'll keep an eye out then. I can't wait for your strong hands to grope my interface with lustful abandon. That's it. We're done here. Let's go. You are fucking right. You fucking pervert. You fucking pervert. Should I be going through this door? Yeah. What's with the Vovas with black bodies, Nikolai? Regular VOV A6s follow my orders and are always polite. But the black ones walk around like they own the place. They go wherever they want, just ignore orders. Yesterday, one of them bumped into me and didn't even apologize. They only respond to people with high social ratings or something. Get back to me when you can. I'm a little freaked out about this. Lash rounds. Interesting. Do I have to apply them? Creepy lady. Oh, save it. Saving data. I don't even know how to Great. use this. Great. Goddamn shot. elevators are out. What am I supposed to do? Jump down? They've no power. If you reconnect the power, they'll start working again. So it looks like I need to find a circuit breaker. But where the hell is it? 
I can follow the wires, but they're all hidden inside the walls. Electrical emissions can be detected via scanner. Yeah, I see it, but which way am I supposed to go? Ugh. Supply room's locked. Well, that's just fucking great. I can't just snap my fingers here. I need a key. And let me guess. You can't open this lock, can you, Charles? Unfortunately Charles. not. But I can set a waypoint you can use to find the key. It should be in a nearby workspace. You're finally starting to come in handy. <laughs> But take care. There's a dandelion security camera up ahead. If it detects us, this place will be swarming with robots. Take it easy. I can always distract it by throwing something, then knock it out with an EMP. We can distract it. Okay, well, how are we going to do that? Come on, I know you in here. Button on how to throw it. Whoops. I missed the button on how to throw it. What the fuck am I supposed to use? Can turn the water on. Not good at that. Oh, that's not it. Yeah. That's not it. You said you knew how to avoid the camera. I expected more yeah, subtlety from a professional lies. such as yourself. Sometimes you just need to go in guns blazing. This was one of those times. Fucking tin man.
Hey, Chuck. Charles. Whatever. What'll happen if word gets out about this? The Soviet Union's reputation will suffer. Soviet robots are considered to be perfectly safe and reliable all over the world. They are? Of course they are. That's why Petrov's treason struck at the very heart of the motherland. He quite literally stabbed his own country in the back. He wants the entire world to stop using our robots. A son of a bitch. Monday begins on Saturday, and I'd like you to really take the weekend off. As you know, national polymerization is happening throughout the Soviet Union on Monday the 13th, and our executive leaders want us to put together a team of volunteers for the upcoming celebrations. Anybody who works on the 11th or the 12th will get a reprimand, not a bonus. Have a great weekend. the key. We can access the circuit breaker now. Yep. But I'm just gonna have a look around first. I need some parts to upgrade my weapon. I won't get far with this pile of shit. I wouldn't dream of stopping you. Smart move, Charles. Smart move.
Hey, let's put a cookie in there. Yeah, even locks like cookies, right? Charles? Yes? Do you like cookies? Ahem. This is a passive security system with a laser relay. I've seen stuff like this plenty of times. You need a color code. Unfortunately, we don't have any codes. You'll have to try to decipher it using logic. Seriously? Like I was gonna stand here until it turns off on its own. Try to match the colors of the laser beams with the colors of the lights. That should help. Yeah, the power's on. Let's head back. Which one? I suggest the one on the right. In other words, you don't actually know. In that case, I'm taking the one on the left. I've marked another waypoint for ease of navigation. How dense do you think I am? I know where I need to go to complete my mission. I was only trying to make... ...things easier for you. You can make things easier by getting off my grill. Okay. First try. It didn't work. The door is electromagnetically locked. Are you freaking deaf or something? Pardon me, please continue. Now I'm gonna go save first.
by law. Data. Please select the desired procedure. Authorization. Major Nichayev, codename P3.
Oh, you motherfucker. How do they still hit me? Just that. You can swim through polymer. I've done it before. It's nice, actually. Kind of like swimming with whales and dolphins in the ocean. It's so peaceful. supposed to restart the line there should be a control panel nearby <laughs> you don't say Remember to regularly repair. <sighs> the fucking font is so small. Please select the desired procedure. I need to shoot better, okay. Um. Hmm. Anything about repairing? So, 
What will it be, Major? Glad you toned down the rapey vibes, cause he was tripping, girl. Yeah, I didn't see anything about repairing stuff. There's the control panel, and of course it's locked. You guys just love these things, don't you? But this is a new one. A combination lock. Ah, it'd take me a year to guess the combo. Look around. Maybe someone has the code. Someone? Is that why that dead body was glowing? Uh, what was that? A glorious new era of Soviet urban development. They won't go without the schematic. All stuck. No schematic, no go. Fuck me, he's alive. Schematic, need a schematic. Unfortunately, he's dead. We are surrounded by corpses. Why have you frozen just like everything here? They won't go. Nope, won't go without the schematic. The dead have a residual neural polymer memory and are capable of communicating for some time after death. That's fucked up. Well, shit. Okay, so where's this diagram of yours? Schematic. The schematic, the one I need to move the cars. Where is it? The station monster has it. Even agricultural he didn't make it. Wasn't as fast as me. He died. Everybody here is as dead as fuck. Did the station master die in this tunnel? This tunnel. He died. And everything froze. Right in front of my eyes. You need the schematic. The city in the clouds will be Moscow, too. Are you sure the station master has it? Does he take it with him everywhere he goes? He carries it with him. The station master, find him! Find him! Get the schematic! Got it. I'll look for it. Maybe I should have said thank you. Holy shit, a talking corpse. What did you say, comrade major? You know, I fought in the whole war from beginning to end. I've seen some shit. The talking corpses, that's a new one. How the fuck is this even possible? It's a byproduct of lingering neuropolymer memory activity. Everyone killed here was polymerized. Their brains haven't decomposed yet. There it is. Charles. So this isn't a dead person talking to me. It's the neuropolymer in his noggin, right? Crudely speaking, yes. As it fades away, neuropolymer memory temporarily stores the individual's last thoughts. Creepy. How long are they gonna talk for? I can't say exactly. Somewhere between a minute and a couple of days. But it seems the more time passes after death, the more corrupt the information becomes. I see. So the stuff they're saying isn't always that important. Poor bastards. Unfortunately, he's dead. Holy fuck! A talking corpse! to look at the fucking schematic. That's real good. Okay, I didn't see anything about the schematic. And I'm healing. I'm wasting shit.
I didn't see the schematic. It didn't even come up. What the hell? to look at it. Oops. Too bad I can't pick it up. It's a spider on the top left. This works. The cable car line is activated. Welcome, passengers. Please take your seats according to your ticket. Sorry, no ticket. We are ready to depart. Ten, nine, eight, seven. This felt six. dangerous. Off we go. Ugh, this tunnel's messed up. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. find a way to move forward but frankly I'm having trouble figuring out how climbing the wall that's how do you have mountaineering training I'm a spec ops soldier not some city wuss riding a desk I've got all kinds of training I must admit I'm quite glad to hear that great if you told me how to do that You can't jump from one thing to the next. You fucking noodle. What the hell? Oh 
my shit. god. What the hell? That was a surprise. Fuck? I agree. You've got quick reflexes, Major. You bet. I, didn't I wouldn't do survive shit. without him. Just stop fucking climbing. That was some fucked up shit. Science has high hopes for them in regard to our inevitable conquest of all the planets in the solar system. Talking about the Burovs, our finest product. What a shame. Did you know we weren't allowed to sell them abroad, Comrade? You worked on the Burovs? From day one. Built just about everything in here. It used to be no artificial sea, no fields, no forests or anything here. To say nothing of the cable car. Just mountain ranges. No, hardly anyone stops to think about what it used to be like here. And it's all thanks to my Borovs. We moved mountains, built the whole infrastructure. They're tearing down what they built. They've got no idea. The machine's mind is like a small child's, you know. It needs love and care, or it'll descend. That was a long conversation. Do I ever love crawling through dark-ass tunnels? That was a fucking hell of a ride. Under ordinary circumstances, the cable car network links all the underground sectors of Facility 3826. It should be easier next time. Thanks, bud. I think I'll just hoof it on the surface. Stop. What a nice trip. Gun there. Or a magazine, I should say. All right. 
right, that's it for now. Thank you.